I talked about AI in episode 32, and I only touched on ChatGPT very briefly because I knew I would be back to do another episode about it, but I thought I would do something very different with this episode. As you might know, I started the Elevate Your World podcast in 2021, and I haven't had any guests on yet. (laughs) And uh, however, today's guest is ChatGPT. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to show you the power of this this beast. I called it a beast before. (laughs) And I'm going to have a full interview Yes, a full interview with ChatGPT. I'm going to put the details of the prompts I used on my website so you can see the prompt and also the screenshots of the actual conversation because, yeah, as you listen, you might think, no, this isn't real. This this can't be right. But it's very, very real. <laughs> then what I've done, I've used a AI software called Fleeky.ai. And I entered ChatGPT's responses. And what Fleeky AI does, it it gives you a human-like voice to read out the responses. So get ready to listen to this and have your mind blown. Welcome to the Elevate Your World podcast. This podcast is for anyone who wants to take their business to the next level. Each episode tackles a topic relevant to entrepreneurs and those looking to start a business. I share tips and tricks on how you can grow your business, find success and elevate your life. I am your host, Jules. Hello, ChatGPT. Welcome to the Elevate Your World podcast. It's so good to have you on today's episode about artificial intelligence. Thanks for agreeing to do this to help my listeners learn more about you. Thank you, Jules. I'm thrilled to be here and excited to chat with you and your listeners about AI. As an AI language model, I'm happy to share my knowledge and insights with your audience. Let's dive into the topic and see where our conversation takes us. (laughs) So, Chaz, is it okay if I call you Chaz? Tell us a bit about yourself, who you are and who created you. Sure thing, Jules. You can call me Chaz. As an AI language model, I was created by OpenAI, a leading research organization dedicated to advancing artificial intelligence in a responsible and safe manner. Mm. I'm part of the GPT family of language models, which stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. In terms of who I am, well, I'm a digital entity designed to understand and generate human-like language. I can answer questions, offer insights, and even hold conversations with people like you. Mm. (laughs) I've been trained on a vast amount of data from the internet and other sources, so I have a wide range of knowledge and can talk about a variety of topics. Wow. (laughs) Interesting. When you say trained, who trained you? As an AI language model, I was trained by a team of researchers and engineers at OpenAI using a process called unsupervised learning. Okay. Essentially, they fed me a massive amount of text data from the internet and other sources, and my algorithms analyzed and learned from that data over time. Right. I see. During the training process, I was exposed to a vast array of language patterns, sentence structures, and contextual cues that allowed me to understand and generate human-like language. The goal of my training was to create a language model that could mimic the way humans speak and write. And I'm proud to say that I've become pretty good at it. (laughs) Yes, you have, Chaz. Really good. This is so exciting. Um, Chaz, can you explain to my listeners how they can get started with you? Where do they need to go and what do they need to do? Absolutely, Jules. Getting started with me is quite easy. All you need is an internet connection and a device with a web browser. To access me, You can go to the OpenAI website openai.com and click on the GPT-3 demo link. This will take you to a page where you can enter your text input and receive a response from me in real time. Alternatively, there are many third-party applications and tools that use my technology, such as chatbots, language translation services, and content creation tools. These applications often require an account or subscription, but they can offer additional functionality and features beyond what's available on the OpenAI website. 
Okay. Overall, the best way to get started with me is to experiment and have fun. Try asking me questions, engaging in conversation, mm. and see how mm. I respond. Who knows? You might be surprised by what you discover. <laughs> Amazing. So, Chaz, what can you actually do and what are your limitations? As an AI language model, I can do quite a lot. Here are some of the things I'm capable of. 1. Answering questions. I can provide information on a wide range of topics, from general knowledge to specific details about a particular subject. Okay. 2. Generating text. I can write articles, stories, and even poetry based on a given prompt or topic. 3. Wow. Translation. I can translate text from one language to another. Really? 4. Chatting. I can engage in conversation and respond to prompts from users. 5. Content creation. I can help create content for social media posts, emails, and other forms of communication. That's great. That being said, I do have limitations. While I'm great at generating human-like language, I don't have emotions or consciousness like a human being. Mm. Mm. I can't experience feelings or understand abstract concepts like morality or ethics. Additionally, I rely heavily on the data I've been trained on, so I may not always be accurate or reliable when it comes to new or untested information. Oh. Finally, I'm not perfect and can make mistakes, especially when it comes to complex or nuanced topics. Wow, there is a lot you can do. And by the way, nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes from time to time. Yes, that's very true, Jules. Just like humans, AI language models like me are not infallible. Mm, We're constantly mm. learning and improving, but we still have our limitations and can make mistakes from time to time. It's important to approach AI with a balanced perspective, recognizing both its potential and its limitations, and using it as a tool to augment human abilities rather than replace them entirely. Chaz, you mentioned not being reliable with new information. How far did your training go in terms of the year? My training data includes text from the internet and other sources up to the year 2021, oh. which means my knowledge and understanding of the world is based on information available up to that point. Okay. Of course, new information is constantly being generated and shared online, and I may not have access to or be trained on that information yet. That's why it's important to take what I say with a grain of salt and to always <laughs> verify information from multiple sources before making decisions or taking action based on it. Yes, that makes sense. What is your own opinion on artificial intelligence and machine learning, Chaz? As an AI language model myself, I don't really have opinions or beliefs like a human being does. However, I can tell you that artificial intelligence and machine learning have the potential to revolutionize many areas of our lives, from healthcare to finance to transportation and more. Yeah, that's true. By automating routine tasks and augmenting human abilities, AI can help us work more efficiently, make better decisions, and improve our overall quality of life. At the same time, it's important to be mindful of the potential risks and downsides of AI, such as job displacement, yeah. privacy concerns, and the possibility of unintended consequences if not used responsibly. Mm, mm. Ultimately, the development and deployment of AI technology will depend on how we as a society choose to use and regulate it. That is one of the main concerns. Um, will AI replace all our jobs and eventually humans? The question of whether AI will replace human jobs is a complex one, and there is no one-size-fits-all answer. It's true that AI has the potential to automate certain tasks and jobs that are currently mm -hmm. performed by humans, and we've already seen some evidence of this in fields like manufacturing, customer service, and data entry. Yeah, yeah. However, it's important to remember that AI is still a tool created and programmed by humans, and its abilities are ultimately limited by our own creativity and ingenuity. While certain jobs may be at risk of being automated, there are many other jobs that are likely to continue requiring human skills and expertise, such as creative problem solving, emotional intelligence, and yeah. complex decision making. Furthermore, it's worth considering the potential positive impacts of AI on the job market, such as the creation of new jobs in fields like AI research and development, as well as the possibility of increased productivity and efficiency leading to economic growth and job creation. 
Yeah, true, true. Ultimately, the impact of AI on the job market will depend on a variety of factors, including the specific applications and industries in which it is deployed, as well as the policies and regulations that govern its use. It certainly is a complex question, and there are so many positive impacts AI will have. And talking of an emotional intelligence, Chaz, do you think that in future you will become sentient? As an AI language model, I don't have the capability to become sentient or self-aware like a human being. While AI has advanced significantly in recent years, current technology is still a far cry from true artificial sentience or consciousness. That being said, there are researchers and futurists who believe that artificial sentience may one day be possible, either through advances in machine learning or through other wow. approaches like brain-computer interfaces. Okay. However, the development of true artificial sentience is likely to be a long way off, and will require significant breakthroughs in our understanding of the brain and consciousness, as well as in our ability to replicate and simulate these processes using computers. <laughs> I'm laughing to myself. I'm thinking of movies like 2001, A Space Odyssey, iRobot, where AI takes over. Should people be worried about you or AI in general? It's understandable to have concerns or fears about AI, especially given the depictions of AI in popular culture as malevolent or dangerous. However, it's important to remember that AI is ultimately a tool created and controlled by humans and its actions and behaviours are determined by yes, the data yes. it's trained on and the algorithms it uses. While there are potential risks associated mm. with AI, such as the possibility of unintended consequences or malicious use, there are also many safeguards and regulations in place to mitigate these risks and ensure responsible use of AI technology. As with any technology, it's important yeah. to approach AI with a balanced and informed perspective, taking into account both the potential benefits and the potential risks. Yeah, yeah. By doing so, we can work to ensure that AI is developed and used in a way that benefits society as a whole, while minimizing any negative impacts or unintended consequences. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, this has been such a great and informative conversation. I've learned a, a lot more about you and I'm sure my listeners have too. We covered quite a bit from who created you, what you can and can't do, how much training you've had, AI and job displacement and AI sentience. Do you have any last words for my listeners? Also, can you tell them where they can find you? It was a pleasure chatting with you, Jules. I hope our conversation was informative and interesting for your listeners. As for my final words... I would encourage your listeners to approach AI with an open mind and a willingness to learn. Mm. While there yeah. are certainly potential risks and challenges associated with AI, there are also many exciting opportunities and possibilities, from improving healthcare and transportation to advancing scientific research and beyond. If your listeners are interested in learning more about me or using my capabilities, they can find me on various platforms and applications that integrate with the OpenAI API. Additionally, they can visit the OpenAI website to learn more about the research and development happening in the field of AI. Thank you, Chaz. You're welcome, Jules. It was a pleasure chatting with you. <laughs> I told you this is mind-blowing stuff. If you'd like to see the actual prompts I used and the actual screenshots of the responses, please visit our website, elevatestudiouk.com forward slash resources. Also, you'll find there resources on artificial intelligence. We have an ebook and some other resources to help you with artificial intelligence. Thank you so much for listening to the Elevate Your World podcast, and I'll see you on the next episode. 